We are at the middle part. Part? The middle? The, well, I'm at the top. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another hair video showing the process of how I got the natural boho braids. I really like this style. I'm happy with how it came out. At this point, they have been in for I think eight or nine days. But um, I think they're, they're holding up pretty good. Um, I've refreshed them probably twice just with some water and a leave-in conditioner. This is how I wear it most days. Sometimes I will, instead of the two, just have one. I don't really wear them down because they look a little boneless. I really like the style. I'll probably do it again because I think they've held up nicely. I think they're cute. And I love finding a style that doesn't take me nine to 10 hours to do. This maybe took four, probably five because I like to take breaks. But here is my process. It's already washed. Um, and I guess I do it wet. All the videos that I saw their hair was wet. So we're gonna try it that way. I've never braided my hair wet. So I don't know how it's going to go. What I'm going to be using is, uh, for parting obviously, my pattern calm, some various hair ties, and mousse. I saw a lot of people using mousse, so this is what I'm going to use instead of a curl cream like I usually do. Um, what else? I think that's it. Oh, I'm gonna use this just to keep my hair moist as I braid, and I think that's it. I'm not gonna use gel around the parts or anything. I usually don't sit down right when I start, but. My back is killing me to that. I probably shouldn't even be doing this. I feel like I should put some conditioner in it just because I did just dye it. And I actually stripped and dyed it yesterday because my hair was red. It's been red since October and I was ready for the red to go. But that red didn't want to go. Red wanted to stay. So I tried to strip it strip it out it didn't work uh so then i dyed it what color did i dye it it was like a medium mahogany brown forgetting that mahogany browns have red in them so it was still reddish brown which i didn't want i wanted the red gone so i had to go dark darker than i wanted to and i did hazelnut to brown oh no <laughs> Gotta figure out how big I want these braids to be. Cause I do not have time to be braiding all night. I, I just sprayed my arm. I don't even think I got my hair. But you know what? That's okay. Now where I feel like this is going to go wrong is going to be like when I take the little, you know, little curlies out. That's the part that I'm kind of unsure of how to do, so. Oh, I think I did that. I probably should have did a third one. some hair for a curl and I think I'm going to use my eco styler for that. Leave that open. And then a curl. Okay, so here is here is the plan.
part is kind of big. I don't know why I did that. It's 8.30. This is where I am so far. I don't like how big the parts are, but that's not good about that now. That's not straight. I guess I like it. I don't know. I don't have my glasses on so I can't really see what it looks like. I can just see it ain't straight. I cannot believe that. That's not straight. I really don't know why I'm surprised. I usually have a not straight one in there. This is taking much longer than I expected it to. Um, it is almost 10.30 and this is where I am. So far, I like it. I think it's, uh, I think it's cute once I like put some stuff in it and style it. I don't like how big the parts are, but I think if I do them again, I will do them on a day where I don't have to work the next day so that I can make them smaller. But yeah, I say if I do them again because like leaving all this hair out, I don't really know how that's going to... We gotta see if there's not. I didn't know how else to say that. But yeah, as far as like look, I like it. And I do like this color. Um, at first I thought it was too dark and I should have left it alone, but I like it. I also will not be, um, braiding my hair wet ever again. This is so hard. It's all tangled. I don't know. I don't know how people do this. I always, 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 always blow dry my hair before I braid it. And I will continue to do that. I'm also using a mousse, which I usually don't do. I use a um, I use a curl cream when I'm braiding my hair or a leave-in conditioner. And I think if I do these again, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a leave-in conditioner because I don't know. I guess it just feels easier. I don't know. I don't really use mousse in my hair. I don't even know why I have it. To be completely honest, oh, I do know why I have it. Is for after I finish my braids. at the top <laughs> yeah my head is a little it's a little tender it's a little tender from um i guess taking it down and then putting a bunch of chemicals in it About the last row besides it being the last row is I just have to part across because this this just has to match this so
I know I was tired when I finished my hair because I definitely left that video on a cliffhanger. So far, I would do these again. I'm very much enjoying the hairstyle. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and a like and subscribe to my channel.